The following presentation is, not really, being brought to you by Tropicana Pure Squeezed Orange Juice. Good for your heart. Good for your lanes. Now it's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The professionals are quaking in their boots. With the many videos out there of people that excel in their sport, there's a series, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to the second show of five in December in Watch Me Suck at Bowling at the New Palace Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. Come on by and bowl. This place is easier to bowl than at Mason's. Anyway, my friend Dave Metalla owns the place. He said, why don't you record some Watch Me Suck at Bowling here? And that's what I'm doing. Five shows for all five weeks of December. And as we've done our pan, the first game did not go very well. And yes, their scorecards are similar to Mason's, but a little slightly more fancy. It went very well in the beginning, and then it tanked, and then it stunk, and then it tanked. And I found out the reason was that I was forgetting to move the camera to the side, as I normally do when I bowl, and that just threw everything off. And then everything kind of goes normal there. And we end it's fairly strong at the end, but the score sucks. We are bowling at lane number four if Sony likes to play autofocus. There we go. Three and four is used on the show. King of the Palace. Search that on YouTube to see. Professional bowlers from Maine and New Hampshire mostly come here and compete on these two lanes, three and four. They are known for very high scores and very good bowling, and I'm here to sully the reputation of lane number four, as I did in the first week. So we're in the second game now. Hopefully this will go better. We probably will not have a nice 10 start, but innings better than a 50, 58. So here we go. Frame one, ball one. Starts off worse. Frame one, ball two. That one's better. Now we have five. We got a piece of wood so long as we don't hit the gutter, will help us. Ball three. That's gonna hit nothing. Five. And yes, by the way, I forgot to mention in the last episode, if I hold the camera the correct way, it does not interfere whatsoever. So get that out of your mind if you're thinking it. Second frame, ball one. That's a good one. We got seven so far. Ball two. That hit nothing. And by the way, you might notice that we got a pin that looks different than the others. During certain contests, you win prizes if you hit the different pin. But this is just a normal game. Ball three. Nope. No good. It's a seven. After a very disappointing start with a five in frame one, we warm up a little bit with a seven in frame two for a total of 12. Definitely worse than the first game that we've bowled, but then again, the very first game was actually a bit high. So, how will things go? Are we going to still warm up, or have we pretty much peaked? Let's find out, shall we? Frame three. Ball one. It's 
Let's get hit something. Hey, it hit something. Ball two. Is it gonna hit? Yes. Ooh. Come on. Ball three. Not even close. I'll take nine. Well, I started this prematurely, so I know some of you like watching the sweeper, so let's press the button. There you go. Fourth frame. Ball one. Ugh, that's not good. Ball two. That's gonna hit. Wobbling, but nope. Ball three. That could do us a ten or a nine, either one. And things have indeed improved because we got a pair of nines in both the three and four box, leaving us with a total of thirty. Looks like things have improved. Frame five. Ball one. Oh, half Worcester, I think. Ball two. Hey, it's something. Ball three. Let's see. Got ourselves a five. Yep, number six, ball one. That was almost, that was almost a half Worcester. Slightly. Ball two. Nope. I lost count. This is my third ball. I forgot the second one went in Zikater. And that one's going in Zikater. Wonderful. What a stinker those two frames were. We didn't even equal the total of either just one of box three or four. Five and six combined for a total of eight making it just a mere 38 points. I think it's safe to say that the new high score of 93 from the adventures with Night Owl Pete is going to stand this time. Frame seven, ball one. That looks better than what it really is. Ball two. That could hit. Pardon the wobbles. The uh, image stabilization block moves too. Ball three. Nine. Eighth frame, ball one. We need a striker spare to keep hopes alive of breaking the 90. And gutter balls do not help. Ball two. Singles don't help. 
Ball three. Good recovery. No fall of that pin. That's a nine. Frame seven and eight is a repeat of three and four. A nine apiece with a total of 56. I think the score of 93 is definitely going to be safe. But again, a nice recovery. Ninth frame. Ball one. Oh, you got some wood at least. Ball two. That's going to help. Not bad. Ball three. That's it, nothing. Got ourselves a seven, I believe. That optic block makes it hard to hold it stable there. There we go, yeah, it's a seven. Last frame, number 10, ball one. It helps to remember to use the camera for counterbalance. Because instead of the camera, I used to hold another ball. Now that is a half Worcester. Ball two. Got rid of that half. Now we gotta hit that half. Ball three. No good. Not even zooming in. The half Worcester did it to us. We have six standing, so that's a four. That did not end all that well. We got a somewhat decent seven in frame nine and a lousy four in frame ten. For a grand total of 67, which is within my average, which I really wish to improve upon. So will we improve upon it? We will find out some other time. And with that being said, that is the end of week two of five here at the New Pals Lanes, Fitchburg, Massachusetts for the December run of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. Georgia 5 f saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.